Round three of the season complete yesterday for tier two. Now, round three of the season today for F2, Austria, season 19 of this tier. And so far, if anything has been a preview of what we're expecting tonight, we've had two first time winners so far this season and the other winner being a past champion in F2. Repeat wins for Jack Miles. Can he end up getting the championship once again in RPL F2? It's been a while since Jack Miles has won the title. That was whenever in Season 8 it was the champion moves up each season. This time it's not really the case ever since they brought champions back in Season 12. But with multiple champions in this field, multiple drivers returning, some drivers making debuts... It'll be an interesting race to watch. I'm your commentator, Ryan Searles, and alongside me tonight is RPL Ardell, who got his best finish at the circuit in Tier 2 just a season ago. It's good to have you here. Well, hello, Mr. Ryan. How are you? Um, I'm good. Yourself? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I know this stream won't be able to see it, but I sent Ryan a picture of my commentary um, fit. It's amazing. You're on Mercedes? Yep. In the Academy? I see, I see. Uh, yep. Mm. You're a young uh, Academy team principal for F2, by the way, for those who don't know. So yes. <laughs> it's good to have that as well with um, your experience here tonight. 15 drivers right now in this lobby. I think we're going to be getting one more. I uh, just want to go over yesterday's winner and Thursday's winner. George Alp Williams took the victory in Tier 3 Imola yesterday. It was John John getting his first RPL win and only his third start. So just want to mention from prior Austria races, what we're going to expect tonight. You thought maybe the F2 start was a little chaotic with the weaving and bobbing and uh, uh, contact into turn three. Well, we've had more chaotic starts here in RPL F2 down in turn three. We had, I believe it was Skither in the past. He tried to avoid hitting cars and still hit George off in turn three before. We had chaos at turn one before in this race in RPL F2. Chaos everywhere. It's what we're going to expect for tonight's event. We had an F2 race in real life earlier that drivers could go off of. So it shall be interesting to see what they take on from that. Let's talk about some headlines quickly before we get to qualifying, which will be in about 25 seconds. Morgan Cheeseman, PHM full-time driver now. He reserved once before in Tier 2 and once in F2 two seasons ago. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just going to call him Ichigo because that's what his Discord name is. Akuzuchi. That's, I guess that's how you're going to be pronouncing it tonight. Uh, Alpine Young Reserve, by the way. He is making his debut. Like I said, Morgan's returning. SLR Metal, by the way. Breaking news for him. He's he's on, on, on time to the lobby for once tonight. So, uh, he'll be getting the correct points in his car. And as you may know already, George Up Williams, the tier coordinator, now down to reserve. Well, qualifying ahead of us, Ardell. And uh, you know this circuit quite well, I would say. What should drivers be doing for their lap tonight? Even though you, you raced in Tier 2 last night, it's F2 cars this time. What differences will there be? Um, well, obviously the uh, cars will have less downforce, so they'll have to pick and choose how they deal with how much wing they put on the car. Um, I'd say the biggest thing would be looking out for getting a good exit out of Turn 1 and Turn 3. Um, being, well, Turn 3 being the slowest car on the track, and Turn 1, you just need a good exit for that launch straight. And you also want to make sure that you don't overcook your line going into the final two corners and running off wide and getting an invalidation. That's pretty much it for me. Well, four seconds remain, and if you were with us yesterday in the Tier 2 race, I would probably be saying who's on pole by now. So get your pole predictions in then. Therefore, I don't end up calling it early once again. But qualifying underway, and... Apparently, Ardell, we have a wet feature race. So, Spicy. just like last week, if you remember, in Imola, maybe we might have some punctures at the end of the race, and maybe drivers will maybe take it more carefully on their tires. Maybe. All right, Josh, right now, leading the way into turn three. Metal as well as up there. Skither up there. The good thing for Metal this time is he's actually getting to qualify because the interesting thing for Metal is that last few weeks... There's been a few tracks where he's been up there on the charts, on the leaderboards, and he's not been able to do much with it because he's either started in the back in both races because of an invalidation early on at Spain, I believe, or last week not being there on time. Not time, on time, excuse me. But right now, Skither is trying to get a third consecutive pull, and he's going to hold on right now And we get as we get to Sector 2 over Josh and Metal, then Blue Goggy and Jack, 
Remember, Sprint Race Reverse Pull looks to be wavy right now. But only a few times in our PLF2 history we've had a driver end up having three consecutive pulls. It's only happened nine times. But right now, as Skither crosses the line, will it be a third consecutive pull? It will be a third consecutive pull. 15th all time, and only the 10th time it's been done in our PLF2. In an F2 car, that is a gap. Four tenths, that is crazy. Well, I mean, he always has been well in F2 before. The past very champion true, two true. times, Skither. Fair play to him. You know what? I'll get my prediction out right now. Um, All right. Doggy is going to do a Ollie Behrman in when either a sprint or a feature race. Well, he's got a chance to do so. He's not far off the pace. He's ahead of Jack Miles, who's won two races already. Here we go. Here's your qualifying order, though. Skither ahead of Josh. Crucial for the championship as Skither leads it. The medal, Blue Goggy, Jack, Blonde, Valk, Wavy, and your front row for the sprint race. A Kazuchi. Sounds like I'm saying something I shouldn't. And then Egg. <laughs> Outside of our top 10, you got guys like Titan, Goatly, Morgan Cheeseman, and FBL. I think FBL invalidated right there, so not good. Yeah, Something I'm, we're also going to talk about tonight are Dell track limits. Yeah, very much. I think, what was it, last year, IRL F1, there was like 1,200 track um, like yeah. incidents. Um, Austria, it's kind of what you expect. That's kind of why they, I'm pretty sure that's why they extended the uh, curves out by three feet on the last corner. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. And you know what? With that curbing being extended, I don't think we'll get it this game as a lot of people continue to talk about that from real life. I think we'll get it next game because every time it seems like we get something like that happen, it ends up being a year later since EA have come in. And nothing to criticize them for, but just the way it's been. Um, and I think we got lucky with some things this year that we yeah. got first. So a uh, completely cloudy and overcast um, uh, sprint race here tonight. I just want to go over the standings quickly before we get any predictions in uh, ahead of tonight. 25 seconds, so I'll go through this quickly. Skither ahead of Jack by 7. Then it's Minico and Josh tied in 3rd. Minico's not here tonight. Same with Tadpole in 5th, not here. Trident have a big massive gap over Campos, ART, Dems, and Virtuosi right behind. But PHM, the only team without any points. Ardell, we got 10 seconds until lights out. What are we going to see on the start? Um, Someone is shoot is going deep into turn 1. That's my guess. Or turn 3. Here come the five red lights for the sprint race here in Austria. Lights out, away we go. And the debut man already getting a good start. Almost four wide between Wavy, Blonde, Valkyrie, and Jack, who didn't get the best of launches right there. Jack tried to send one down the inside at turn one, but couldn't get the acceleration. But now it's side by side between the debut driver and Egg for the race lead. Let's see how they get on into turn three, the heavy braking zone where we've seen past incidents happen before. Heavy braking from Egg, maybe a little too deep, just cuts right in front, and now Wavy. Wavy to the race lead! A one-win wonder previously in RPL. He's won a race before, only coming season 11, Saudi Arabia. He takes the lead and looks to do so once again, but can Egg send one back up the inside? The two teammates almost come together. Wow. <laughs> but now, we're gonna see side by side Ardell into the end of sector two. Egg is sliding, and he somehow remains in front in this field right here. They're all right behind, and it's all clean on lap one, everybody. Up until Goatly within this pack, Morgan Cheeseman losing touch. You know what, all I'm saying, guys, you gotta calm down. There's 14 laps. This isn't a five lap shootout. Oh no! Yeah, there goes contact. a spin. Jack and Blonde, two former multi time F2 winners coming together. That's gonna end their hope for the sprint race. They're gonna need a safety car or a VSC to get back up, but Valkyrie passes Blue Goggy. Metal is up here, and Skither only gained two places. Now it's gonna be three in just a moment here, it looks like, but Skither not getting the best of starts right there. We're gonna look at our spots gain just quickly. Three from Josh. Josh making the most. Skither, Titan, Metal yeah. making more. Four places. He's losing DRS, though. That's the, that's the troubling spot. It's gonna allow Wavy, Egg, a Kazuchi, all to pull away. Yeah. All I'm saying, if you're Eggland, if you're in a party with Wavy, are you saying just back up a little bit, give me a second lead so I can get out of your toe and the toe of the car behind, maybe pull a gap here? Well, Egg has not won a while in RPLF2. Wavy's only won once in RPL as a whole, and he won here in a preseason event in Tier 3. Um, 
but FBL and Titan are duking it out now for ninth while we talk about that. I was just going to say, though, how with those guys having that much, you know, experience over Okazuchi, maybe he can steal the win. We've seen two first-time winners so far this season, Ardell. Maybe the third would not be out of the question. Hey, Skidder down the inside of Valk. Stop. This is so tight into the final two corners. You do usually do not go side by side. No, you we do not. saw yesterday in tier two it ended in disaster for JTK. Now, it's fun to say, Skiz is up two places, but it's kind of like not like him to only make up two places. He, like I would kind of True. expect more than from him. And, and Josh made up as much as I'd expect Skither to make up. DRS yeah, enabled, honestly. by the way. Josh on Blue Goggy. This is a place that's going to be traded here down into turn three. Skither already has Valk into the breaking zone. Blue Goggy looked like he locked up there for a moment, and Valkyrie went way too deep. Got the place momentarily over Skither, but this is just going to continue hindering Skither's process to try and catch back up to the field. But for the lead, Wavy had a look on Egg, made Egg lock up, but couldn't do anything about it. The top four now within DRS of one another. Oh, Skither almost loses it on the exit of four. So tight, so many lockups into turn four right there. Even Gagi and FBL, or, uh, sorry, Titan and FBL, excuse me, wrong Prema, racing it out right there. Now, Ooh, if you're together, do you just, not cruise, but do you just play it safe? Because Jack is in 12th, he's out of points. So, unless he makes some monster strat happen here, I don't see him getting any points. You just play not it safe here. It's not the best for their constructor's sake because Jack, although he's overtaken Goatly now and Titan gets a, a penalty, he's the second one. I was just going to say with Skither, to your point, I mean, it's good that you earn the points, but you want more. You're always going to want more. I think for his goal right now, just get within DRS of Gaki because yeah. Gaki still remains within touching distance of Josh. That'll be his best hope. Here comes Wavy, though, for the race lead. Change in hand between two teammates. Down the inside, Wavy takes over at the front of the field, but slides on corner exit. And now, because of that, he's ghosted, and Egg is the one who picks up DRS now down to turn four. How does Egg choose to go with this assist from the rear wing? Ichigo also going to go three wide. Oh, down the inside, nine. almost they clipping Wavy, and he's touch. around. Egg's around. Metal to the lead. the lead! Metal from fourth to first! That that's heartbreak for though for Egg yeah, and Egg. Okazuchi on debut. Now was it too audacious from Okazuchi? What was it? I don't even know if he bitch. clipped him to be honest. Um, I couldn't even tell if he did. Maybe he, Egg just really locked it. He clipped the uh, leader. Um, he didn't hit, yeah, he just dove lit. Maybe he um, did. Like, I don't know, I, I didn't, I couldn't tell if there was contact. Now, Metal's in the lead. Has Metal ever led in F2 race? Mm, maybe once or twice before, but he's never won. Uh, so, okay. he's in position to do that. Now, if I'm Metal, um... It's kind of hard because, well, if you saw my race yesterday, um, I don't fault my own this. But I'd say... Play it safe, but don't be, like, dumb with your moves. Like, don't do anything late. Don't do anything unnecessary, right? Like, you've moved Speaking up seven points. Hold on just a second. Jack and FBL, you're right. Seven places up for grabs. And, oh, big incident! That is Titan, who's going around. And Goatly also collected on that. They were also battling behind. But big damage to both cars. Yeah, oh, Jack it. as well. Jack around. And it's it's in the path of Valkyrie. And she's reset to track. That's not allowed. That'll be a penalty nope, toward the steward's can't. office once that gets reported. Mind you, um, well, that has all happened. FBL is in sick. And Skither has made his way up in a fifth. Yeah, FBL, by the way, started what? Like 14th last? Uh, yeah, he's up 14th to sixth. Fair last. Play. He's up in the sixth. Yeah. Yeah, fair play. I, I don't think and Skither doing exactly what I was saying, here. by the way. He's fifth now. I mean, Egg was in fifth just a moment ago. Skither has his lap. Got a race in her hands, though. Yeah. Josh, who's only won once. Goggy's never won. He's in striking distance. Wavy's up there. Metal's up there. But see, here's the thing, though. A lot of people talked about in the F1 sprint race, maybe Piastri and Norris battling it out and maybe costing themselves time in comparison to the race lead of Max Verstappen. Right Very now, true. if you're these guys, as there is yellow flags, that is the first sector that is Valkyrie around and Goatly I think maybe with more damage and a penalty uh both PHM side by side I was just gonna say though uh, uh Goatly Ardell. has uh, wing damage so that oh yeah yeah uh, actually, uh, Jack and FBL but you never know 
Ooh, is that moving under breaking? I don't know. Jack almost into the side of FBL, but clears him right there. And Egg clears Morgan and... Oh, Morgan's off. Oh, no. no, I was just going to say, with our race leaders, Ardell, if you don't mind me asking you, they're in DRS of each other. Skither's not in DRS of them yet. And we saw last week in Imola, Jack take over the race lead about halfway point. Do you end up not battling as aggressively and then waiting out to the last lap? Therefore, Skither doesn't overtake you? I mean, it really depends. Uh... That is way be going off in the final corner. Josh looking for a movement of one. Um, I don't know what's hard because if you're around the same pace as someone, it is very hard to get back into the uh, train once you get out of it, right? It's really hard around this track, especially to get back into the train once you've gone out of it. So we'll see what skills can do. But I'd say at this point, well, metal has a lead, so really depends. Oh, bit of contact down at turn three. Josh and Wavy battling, and as Metal sees this in the race lead, he's saying, yes, continue to battle. Please, let me get this lead, because DRS here is so crucial. You have to be within it. And right now, Wavy and Gagi are in striking distance of Josh, but it just seems like they're not anywhere close to getting back to our race leader, SLR Metal, who has never won in RPL. And Skither, just within touching, to, uh, touching distance oh, in just a moment. Now he DRS. is. Oh, this, it's about to get fun. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> well, I'll say this. For Skither's case, you need to get by these guys quick. For Metal's case, you better hope they continue to battle and don't let Skither find a path through. And we'll just, just a reminder. Second. Yeah, that's, that's not good for his race. He's nope. not going to keep the podium as of right now. But I was just going to say, just keep in mind, Skither right now... Although he's losing out to Josh with a few points, though, he has a 19-point lead. So right now, it's not going to be the end of the world if Skither does not beat Josh here. He needs to hope he can do so for the wet feature race upcoming. Here we go. Speaking of upcoming, a move upcoming down at turn three. Wavy threw on Josh, but was it too late? Josh trying to cut back. Josh goes through. Wavy, though, now behind Blue Goggy. And these two, no love lost between each other. Keep it clean this time. Both have DRS, though, on... Actually, no, Wavy does not have the DRS. So now, he'll just, he'll just try to be hold on. He'll, uh, he'll just try to be hold... He'll just try to be holding on over Skither. Excuse me. Jack well, and FBL. One thing I have seen from Wavy especially is... It's not like roasting him or, like, trash at him. It's oh, like Chris. spin! Akuzuchi, around. You were saying? I'd say it's gone from bad to worse. Um, I'd say for Wavy... Way I'd say for Wavy, he doesn't plan out his moves. Yeah, and like, I don't think Blonde planned out spinning out again either. Like, once Wavy <laughs> sees a gap, he just goes for it. I'd say, especially in these cards, because, well, it's hard to break out of train once you're in one. See where the people from you are worse thinking. See where we can maybe get a better exit. Here comes Skither, by the way. He just closed up to everyone here. Well... Two-time champion of RPLF2, most recently in Season 17. Can he make something work here? We got moves in front of that, actually. Blue Goggy and Josh now. That's a trade in spots right there. And Skither closing up to Wavy. Can he get the move done here with the DRS applied? Titan on Valkyrie. That's done in the background, but we're not watching that. We're watching the battle for fourth place on track, which is so critical. Can he get it? Can he get it? He just closes up, but he can't get it. I, I was just going to say, you saw a small rear lock right there. Drivers, rear locking it a ton so far. FBL on the move, down the inside. Can't get the move done on Jack, but Jack left the door open. Let him have the space if he wanted it. And um, I, I don't think it's going to be the last we see of the, the rear locking here into turn four and turn three and turn one. I mean, Drivers just struggling so much with it. I might be saying this too soon, but it seems like Skiller just can't get ahead of these guys. Yeah, you just you stay in DRS though, and that's and the thing. Morgan you don't want to just. And has spun it out of turn six. Yeah, more more trouble for him going from bad to worse. Hopefully, gonna have a better feature race maybe. But Skither does finally get wavy at turn one. I, I was just gonna say the thing with DRS though is that it seems like some of these guys, if you're not getting the moves done, and they're not making mistakes, you're just gonna be stuck within that area and that <laughs> air that you're just not wanting to be in. That is just so pocketing. But Blue Goggy had a look. Couldn't make oh, it Skither right there. Deep. Skither, yes, very deep. And that's going to allow Wavy to pounce. And this is just going to help Blue Goggy's chance for the podium, Ardell. Same with Josh as well. Maybe my prediction will come through, um, true on the first week. Never know.
Oh, Blue Goggy almost hitting the back of Josh, and this will close up Skither. So again, another mistake. Going to close up a driver behind. But for Metal's case, though, he's loving this because Skither can get by. If Skither can get by at a, at a timely rate, Metal's just going to have to keep going in this race lead and doing what he's currently doing. And he's just... Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say this now. If Skither doesn't get by these guys by the end of lap 12, th there's no chance he wins this. Yeah, because we saw in Imola, he can, pull a, he can pull a gap late in the race. That's true. There's still a chance by lap 12, and, and but after also, that, no. And it, and it also depends. Has Metal just been saving those tires? Because it's gone to 2.4 and kind of just stayed there for the last, like, five-ish laps. Is he saving we those saw tires punctures in case Skither comes back? You never know. We saw punctures in Qatar. Yeah, very true. Qatar was full of punctures in the preseason event there uh, for RPL F2. You know, Goggy this... don't collide with Wavy, Invade said. Well, good thing they didn't already. You know what? This is why I love F2. There, there's always action. And we go down to turn three with Josh ahead. Goggy trying to pull the move down the inside. Skither there in the background. Ghosting inside. I think he may have just tapped Blue Gawky. But 2.6 the gap between Metal and Josh. It was 2.3 previously. So the more they battle, the more that gap becomes. Goggy going down the Blue inside. Gawky. Yes. Sneaking a peek. Will he make it work? Racing wheel to wheel on exit. This will help Goggy defend from do Skither here. Wide, in terms of getting wide. the podium. Oh, oh it's going to get oh, treacherous. It's going to get tight. It's going to get tight. Goggy excelling. But they still remain wheel to wheel. Now behind Skither just momentarily. And now is. Alright, let's just take a breath before we kill that. You can take a breath now. I don't need to. <laughs> it's been chaotic. And it still will not die down here. 3.5 the gap. Oh, was there contact down at turn I one there? I that think there might have been maybe. slight contact. It looked like there might have been. Oh, Morgan threw him goatly. Maybe, but here we go. Skither on the move. Skither ducking out and going to go ahead of Blue Goggy. Will Josh make the move too? Josh will. Can he go on two and one here? No, he can't. It's too late there. Skither, though, will not have the DRS down to turn four. Josh and Goggy will, but they're side by side. So they're costing themselves time to try and get down there and get ahead or at least get alongside. FBL got Jack. Good for FBL having this racing with yeah, Jack honestly. right now. But Goggy threw on Josh uh, in retirement. Tired, that is in the pit lane. Yeah. Titan. Still side by side now. You were talking about too wide into this section. Goggy just ahead of Josh, but Skither clear up into second place. Now 3 plus question, six if the gap. You're, if you're Skither, do you say, all right, second is good enough, um, you know, keeping the uh, points gap clear, or do, do you go blood falls to the wall? Do you, do you try to really push up in the middle? I just say you at least get these guys out of DRS first. That's going to be your yeah. goal. 3.3 is the gap. Now, I don't think Skither's going to beat Metal unless Metal makes a costly mistake here. But 76 winners have saw the top step of the podium here in RPLF2. We're looking for a possible 77th today and a first-time winner for the third time this season with SLR Metal. I think he's maybe had an F2 podium before in the past, but even if he hasn't, though... These are the cars he excels in the most, and today he's doing just that quite well. Oh, Skither goes deep, rear slides, keep the belt. If there was any chance of making any God, noise right on, on metal with a mistake, now it's done and dusted. FBL and Jack, Blonde and Kazuchi making moves, but up in front of this, Gagi threw on Skither and trying for yet another RPLF2 podium. See, this is what I mean. You can't escape the uh, train. Once you're in the train, you can't escape it. Very true. Very, very true. And these down groups the as end. well. No! Oh! <laughs> big, big slide and a penalty. That, that's ruined his race. I'd say at this point, keep it calm. Just bring the car home. Well, you know what? You're already going to lose out in terms of the championship, I think, to Josh by one place. Don't get overtaken by Wavy now. Yeah. That's going to be the goal. Final lap this time for Metal. He's never won an RPLF2, but he's managed it quite well. And he just needs to do this final lap cleanly and without a mistake he's got the win right in front of him and now skither trying to at least get josh on track here you know although you can't force metal into a mistake now at least try and force josh and blue goggy into a mistake maybe a track limit penalty now here we go for second goggy and josh wheel the wheel josh through goggy and skither will have the drs but goggy goes into the side of skither there and josh with no DRS assistance, is going to be a sitting duck down this straight. Goggy gaining 
gaining, gaining. And once again, will it be second place side by side? Contact made. Skither and Wavy side by side. It's like a NASCAR race with them going two by two here in turn five. Still side by side. Skither through. Skither through into third place on track. And it will not be third place when the penalties get applied unless something drastic happens. Two first time winners so far. How about add a third with this man who's driven beautifully. SLR Metal finally gets his moment in the sun. Taking the victory here in Austria. Blue Goggy, another second place finish here in RPLF2. A fourth podium to his name. And Josh, critical stuff for the championship. Maybe later in the season takes a podium. Third place. Other finishers in the points include Skither, Wavy, Jack, FBL, and Egg, our final points runner, as Ukuzuchi hangs on for ninth. What a weird name to say, but an <laughs> okay debut after maybe what could have been. Metal says he's never got so lucky in his life, <laughs> and Skither saying that penalty will be removed. I, I, later in the storage room. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think he just slid out wide. I don't. I don't know if that was removed. Well, was he? Was he forced off prior with Maybe. one of those previous warnings? Maybe that could be what removes it. Maybe. I, I'm. I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, congrats to get on the end on the uh, driver of the day. Um, Goggy, honestly, one of the most underrated drivers in this tier. I'm. I'm gonna say it. Yes. He excels a lot in F2 cars. I, I have to agree with you right there. Fourth podium for Blue Goggy. And he only started on the podium hunt just last season. Mm -hmm. In the middle of it, too. Crazy stuff. Podium celebrations underway. SLR Metal is a race winner for the first time. Invade picked up this man alongside BRT Griffiths. But with BRT Griffiths not racing so far, the past champion... It's been down to metal to pick up the pieces. And finally, he sprays the champagne on the top step. Congrats to him. Now, I will say this. Um, I don't know if metal will be uh, watching during while he's racing or while they're racing. Um, don't get ahead of yourself. Like, don't do anything stupid into the next race just because you got your first win. You still got to keep it smooth. Well... I don't have final results on my screen, but if you can take a screenshot for them, uh, for, for me, that would be great. Mm -hmm. uh, all the finishers and with the penalties, or at least a capture, whatever works. But driver of the day from the event? Mm, I don't know. I mean, Skither and Josh made good recoveries, but I would still have to give it to Metal. I know he said he got lucky, but you know what? Finally, he has his moment in the sun. And guess what? Time for a wet feature race. Oh, uh, here we go. Now, question is, will... Will people learn from Imola? Well, that Minico saved and saved and saved and got a puncture on the last lap, but he had a gap. Will you have the gap Very this time true. if you get a puncture and save your tires, though? Now, if there's one race where people go out on the first corner or the third corner, it's going to be this one. Yeah, this is going to be really tricky. We've seen past F2 wet races here, but this is going to be the trickier one because although it's a smaller field, you have a lot of drivers who've never raced each other before in the wet. Some even didn't do last week. Some did, but this is a trickier track for the wet. Maybe better on track limits, but just keep in mind, if you do pit, the pit lane entry is tricky around here. But it Herbs is also tricky. a very short pit entrance, right? So very true. you can also factor that in. Very, very true. All right, I'm going to just keep in mind for myself, uh, skip the podium celebrations at least after mm -hmm. the first spray of champagne oh, before sure, I can get the sure results you, next uh, time. Make sure you don't uh, call the race a lap early either. If you see any pit stops, Ardell, don't get any trauma from uh, getting kicked off the podium here as well. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. See, see, this About is five what seconds, maybe less. No. Uh, this is what here we go. We'll save it for later. Five red lights upon us for a wet feature race that's about to get underway, and it's underway now. Skither, a good launch from him. Josh tucks in behind, but it's side by side between Gaggy and Metal. 
three wide in the back, maybe four wide for a moment, but a mistake from Skither allows Josh on the inside line. SLR Metal and Goggy side by side, but it's all clean so far. Contact now in cars the in the wall. That's a great jinx. Three of them collected. Now side by side for the lead. Josh, Skither, now Metal and Jack and Goggy have pulled away from the ones behind. Now Josh takes over the lead. Skither kind of pushing Goggy out right there. Jack and Metal now side by side. It's going to be critical to get to Josh now into turn four and not battle it out. But they are battling it out. Jack closing in. Goggy still remaining wheel to wheel. Now that's for third instead of second. Wavy getting FBL down at turn four. Two different trains, but no DRS. One thing I want to know, did some people maybe put a wet-oriented setup before this race? Interesting. Yeah, fair, fair point to mention right there. Just got, Josh is We're already gonna gone. We're going to find out. We're going to find out, that's for sure. But the incidents in the back were involving Valkyrie, Blonde, and Eggles, the former F2 champion from Season 10. It is not Josh dams. leads the way. You were saying? It is not Dams or PHM's weekend. Invade may be thinking in the Twitch chat that Josh could be on a wet setup. Fair. I mean, he has kind possibility. of disappeared. Very big possibility. But it seems like two different trains, two different races here. Valkyrie making the move on Morgan Cheeseman, who's made a mistake down at turn one. But Jack, just staying behind the teammate and maybe playing the safe game right here. Just the thing that you really could do. Also, for Trident's case, these points are vital. They're going to win out compared to ART in the championship as things stand right now if this race were to end. Now, it's kind of hard to tell like a setup on an F2 car, like independent of wet or dry. It's easier to tell on an F1 car. But I'd say, see if anyone like closed down a lot on the straights or if anyone gets a bigger gap out of corners. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Well... We're going to see what happens throughout the rest of this race. Egg goes by Blonde for 13th there. Uh, those guys are really not out of this race yet. I mean, they're no. 11 seconds back from the race lead. But if they end up saving tires even after their spin, and we don't see any pit stops in this race, they could still win out. Safety and I know that's crazy, but it, it, you're right. You're right. And, and you know what? It is still a possibility that they could be in this race if these guys up front battle. If they end up keeping a calm... Blonde cool head. Three seconds but already. Blonde hasn't, so there's the jinx right there. Oh, and <laughs> He's Blonde into has the, pit. the pits. Yep. Egg fastest lap, though. That's from the back of the field. He's kept the and cool head, and Blonde speeding. And this is a retirement. Up. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Blonde's race. But right now, Skither remains in second over Jack, then Blue Gaggy in metal. You call Blue Gaggy an underrated racer here in RPLF2? Well,. He's just keeping a cool head and forth right behind I the mean, two academy teammates. Yeah. Now, is Skither finding the groove in the wet? He's starting to close down a tiny bit on Josh, corner by corner. Well, we'll find out. I think Valkyrie just got the move done on Goat Leaf for the last point spot. Remember, if you're new to RPL or just F2 as a whole, Top 10 get points in the feature race. You don't have to pit in the feature race if it's declared a wet race, which it seems like it has been. We don't know if it's going to dry up at any point. Egg almost getting into the back of Morgan Cheeseman right there. That was so tight between the pair of them. But you mentioned our race lead for a moment it ago, Ardell. Yes, it is. Five cars now have a chance for this race win at this point. Also, um, FBL just hanging in sixth. Um, I'd say a good showing by him so far this weekend. Yes, he's actually had a breakout weekend considering where he started. I, I mean, you would think it would, would not be a breakout weekend being in sixth, but FBL I think only has maybe, what, one podium prior? He's not really shined a lot here in RPL, but maybe tonight being the night where he can capitalize if the punctures do come in later on. Uh, move being made, Egg and Morgan, that was just traded there just a, a moment ago, but... Our race lead under threat. No DRS in this condition, but Skether's right there to put the pressure on Josh Ardell, and he's got a chance to do just that. Mm -hmm. Big chance, especially at being Skether. Well, anything can happen here in the future race. And just remember, 
Although there's no DRS, though. I I'm looking at that one second barrier, though, because it, it really, if there's a mistake that happens, even if it's the smallest of mistakes, you're in striking distance to close up. And with the way you have to drive these F2 cars, I I'm, I'm really just trying to see who of these guys within that one second can pounce if there are moves being made because they will catch up quite easier i think in the wet compared to the dry here one, one thing i have noticed or it seems like from an f2 car is that you almost have to drive it like a big heavy go-kart like you have to almost use your yeah. feet on the accelerator to turn the car in compared to an f1 car we can just flick it in fastest lap being traded josh now skither and i would even kind of rate it to really a stock car with how heavy it is in the wet it's a lot more different in this game ardell than previous games the wet conditions but five tenths uh sorry five tenths is the gap between our race leaders will we see a move down to turn four maybe later on not turn three i said turn four this is turn three next up is turn four goatly and egg now trading spots a move being made right there for 11th egg trying to charge back through the field and do the recovery drive but together not close enough like I said, Ardell, I think it's just going to have to be a mistake that's going to trade any of these guys yeah. any places up at the front. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to keep an eye on Jack later on because, well, I've watched some F2 races before this. Um, Jack usually has near enough the same pace as together. So is he just doing what Minico did? Just saving those tires, hoping it stays wet enough and just drive it to the end? I keep hearing this stupid thing talked about from Sky Sports with an all-British podium at the British Grand Prix nah. next week. Those guys don't really have all the cars to do In that. But with F2 right now, we're looking at maybe an all-British podium. Goggy is technically British, although he's under the Malta flag. Skither's American. If anything happens, we could see that happen tonight for the F2 race here in... Austria, fastest laps being traded once again, and now Skither is within striking distance. Can he make the move here? Down at turn three, he's not going to be close enough at turn one. Wavy is now right on the back of FBL. Is he going to make the move? Is he going to go down the inside? No, he's just going to sneak a peek, but four tenths now the gap. Josh, getting the upper edge out of turn one on Skither. It seems Josh just knows where to place that car out of corners to get a better exit than Skither, but Skither just has a lot more speed in like the faster corners and on straights, so very interesting. Point spots. Titan, we've not talked a lot about him this weekend. He's kind of struggled. Valkyrie, also one who struggled dive. so far. That was a nice, nice dive, Valkyrie. yes, indeed. Egg also waiting in the background to pounce. He'll have the chance now. He's going to go through an RPL Titan Iron, but now... Will he get Valkyrie down into turn four? Egg is going to go late in the brakes. Oh, is this going to be a bit of contact? Late. It was. Luckily, they remain alive, but Egg is going to have to try once more to get this move done. Three tenths between the race lead. Yeah. Nothing happening there, and I'm a bit surprised, although they're running so close to one another, it's not backing them in a jack at all. You said watch Jack. Well, he's keeping a steady gap there. 2.2 back now, maybe losing a bit of touch with these guys. Jack, quite a bit of experience here in RPL F2, to say the least. Same with Skither. I think Jack knows what he's doing, and he's just playing the long game right now. Well, you kind of have to if you're really seeing your teammate challenge up in front. you got to at Very least good. pounce when the battles are. I think a mistake out of one from Josh. You saw the rear slide from him. Three tenths, now the gap. Now it's starting to come down a bit. And here we go. Jack, although he's holding the spot over Gagi, his teammate, Skither, Closing, closing, not close enough though. And and I'm still surprised that Jack has not gained anything from this really at all, even with the closing. Wavy down the inside on FBL, a little bit of touching there. But now FBL hangs on for P6 out of the exit of turn number and three. Gets three second. I will say the two virtuosi is doing a good job. They uh they won this race, I believe, the last time we raced here in season 14 with either Jack or Luke, whichever one did it. But, um, yeah, Virtuosi, good points. I don't know what FBL is doing this weekend, but he's up 8th spot. Cook. <laughs> Let him cook, cook honestly. Seriously, I mean, although he's about to lose his spot to Wavy, he's still hanging on quite well here for 6th place, and I, if I he can really just... I don't know if hasn't passed. Speaking of Skither, he's at 10th behind. Yeah, he's really close. I was just going to say oh, Wavy. Oh, oh, off the track! No, Josh! Loses the lead to Skither. Skither That's goes through, but did he do it illegally? He's pulled over and he's let him through. Uh, smart, smart move by Skither. 
honestly, smart move by together. Now you will lose I was some time for that, been but illegal because FBL was off track, or not FBL, excuse me, uh, Josh was off track. Very true. But if anything, uh, that would be illegal for Josh if he kept the place, because he may not lie. Yeah. Now, I will say this. With Wavy and FBL, although they did just trade spots, FBL is still within DRS, and he's ahead of the guys behind who are battling immensely. Egg Eggles. now going to go for another yep. move. Cut back. Down the inside on corner exit, maybe. No, he just couldn't get the traction. He's not there yet. It's very interesting, because even with Josh and Skither having their own moment, Jaxel hasn't closed up. Well, you spoke about Skither and Jack. I'm going to give uh, a championship standings, uh, I guess, update uh, ahead of tonight's race, as we got Skither closing on Josh again. Um, we had Skither before tonight's race, leading over Jack by seven points. Minico was tied with Josh in third, but Minico's not racing. Josh is. Josh barely beat Skither in the sprint race, so that gap closed down slightly, but Skither extended it over teammate Jack. Here we go for the lead once again. It is Invade's Academy here, I believe. Or sorry, Kipu's, Kipu's Academy, excuse me. In front with Josh, compared to Gaki's Academy, in second. But FBL is the first one to make a choice into the pit lane. Again, Very Skither did this early last week, and he ended up winning on it with a second place finish when um, all the punctures Gaki. happened. Wait, no, I'm saying Gaki. Uh, Ryan. Oh. It has stopped raining. Dry. Tires, you're right. It has. This is going to be spicy. This going is early. Spicy. When will the DRS get enabled, though? That's going to be the big question and now. Is it too early? I, I'm, I mean... You can keep an eye on the front. I'm looking at the FBL for the next two, three laps. See what he can do. I don't think it's too early. Look at the leader sliding. Josh. It's very true. Skither. Both losing grip. And right now, although Josh is remaining ahead, Skither was trying to do what Oscar Piastri was. But now, the up and under. He's faked him out. Skither, what a move. He takes over. What a move by Skither. They're just losing control from these cars with trying to handle it on these wet tires. I think FBL is going to win out big here when they do end up pitting. Here they come to the pits. Got to keep it within the white line. Ardell, you know that. Yeah. Know it all too well. Jack. Goggy! Oh! Will that still be legal? Is the question. Egg got a second for track I limits. Don't know. Will anybody stay out for the, because of the double stack with these guys? It might be too early. FPL isn't really closing on Morgan Schiesman. Goatly stays out. Go mm. Very interesting. Someone had to, in my opinion. I think someone had to. Speeding up, penalties. People. Yeah. I don't think I don't it was just Valkyrie. Man. I think I saw someone in front of her also pick up one. But Goat Jack stays out on wet been, tires. I'm not just, he's been screwed. He's been screwed on this pit. Yeah, double stack, you're right. If yep, they that think that I would have stayed out an extra lap. I would have stayed out the extra lap. Yeah, well, Goatly did that. And FBL, where does he come out here? He had a purple sector three, so he's going to win out big on this outlap at the end of it. But he realistically should be overtaking Wavy. He's in Wavy's seven. ahead of he's him. In seven. But he's ahead of Jack. He, he, kept, he kept the exact same spot when he pit it. You know what? Interestingly I, enough. I'll take it back. It, it wasn't too early. Goggy maybe made a mistake here. He went to wet tires. Another Goggy. pair. And also, Jack on the fresher tires and the faster ones. Super softs. Very interesting. DRS enabled. Uh, DRS, enabled. DRS is enabled. And although it shows a timing glitch here at the front of the field with Skither and DRS of Goatly, that is not true. Bobby that is just a glitch. Right now. Yeah, that, that is stupid. He basically did what Reese Dainty did last week in F1, if you remember that one. Now, if, uh, to paraphrase off of um, a uh, 2015 uh, YouTube championship series, oh no, they have put a wet on. Yeah, he's going to come in again and change those tires. Oh, but he spun on the entrance of the pit lane. And because of clipping the grass, the game reset him. Interesting. But FBL went out big with Goatly into the pits. And Jack as well. Uh, on Super Softs, he will be within DRS of Jack throughout a long, long way of the circuit. And if you're FBL here, 
I don't think you go for the move. You have Jack in front of him, who's on better tires, faster tires, can catch up to Wavy. I mean, FBL's going to win out big here, but he's going to overtake. You see a driver in front, you just have to go for it. And Jack, trying for the switchback now. Is he going to pull this off? We're going to find out. Will he remain wheel to wheel here into turn four in order to, I guess, not lose as much time? Still all good between them. Yellow flags to first, uh, oh, second, that's Valk. Turn three. Yeah, that is in the uh, Charles Leclerc's brother, Arthur Leclerc's dams. Eh, it, I mean, it makes sense. It's Arthur Leclerc's car. <laughs> well, Skither, Josh leader. Josh is three second. Now in a better spot with that three second from Josh. Yeah, that is not good. Um, Josh fastest lap. I think this is going to trade quite quickly here with the track drying fully now and everyone on dry tires. But as it does hey, hold, trade, though, who, who gets second. the fastest lap? Is Wavy yes. actually in fourth? I see yes, he is. Uh, yes, he is. Wavy with a... Okay. Uh, GG uh, Wavy. Oh. Um, Jack with three second now. Well... Interestingly enough, Invade talking about people cutting the pit entry. That's going to be the interesting thing when it gets sent to the steward's office. Mm -hmm. I saw at least three or four guys go God, on that white line. You wrong. have to keep all four wheels in it. You have to. They, not all of them did. Now, yeah, now it, the question is, could but, you uh, maybe defend yourself by saying, Hey, I was on wet tires on a dry track pretty much, and I'm mm -hmm. just trying to get into the pit line. I doubt it because at that point you'd have to know you, you should break early and, and take it more carefully Fair because enough. of that being the case. Um, I saw Gagi. I saw um, the virtuosi of FBL's teammate. I, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name again. I'm going to call him Itchigoat for now because that's his Discord name. Um, I think I saw one, one other driver as well, but fastest laps being traded. Skither leads the way. And uh, although Jack you know Miles has the penalty, FBL can get another place. He can get fifth from this. Maybe even another spot if he continues to game with Jack. Now, saying? I will see this. Um, for Ashley's reputation of it um, being a very, uh, well, obviously penalties, but um, also a circuit where people usually don't like to um, fight. They usually just uh, push each other off. Um, Lewis Hamilton, Alex Albon, for example. It's been very, very clean true. so far. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Um, I... I expected there to be 16 in this event, but Trat Racer lagged out, by the way, so you saw him earlier on. He was not able to partake in this event because of that. Uh, Kipu and Optical were obviously either late or not here, so they couldn't get a chance to race. But although we have no action on track, we will in just a moment. Blue Goggy and Morgan Cheeseman. These two have raced each other before in the past, and now they're going to go wheel to wheel again. But making contact now out of turn three, getting a little argy bargy. That's not a bit of fun between them two. I mean, but they'll we'll enjoy it, though, to their party. expense. They're running 12th and 13th, though. So, Look, what is it? I will say this. Skither might, might be running a direct setup. Or yeah, I based, mean. But he's kind of just disappeared. He's kind of done a max for Satin here. Titan, again, adding to the penalty list that he already has. I think he had about a three, three or six second already. 